I was born in Margate and then I think my mother and father moved to Kenton near Harrow quite near here and uh, when I was uh, I think three months I'm not entirely sure but I think when I was about three months old we moved there and then we lived in Kenton until the outbreak of until the outbreak of war in 1939 war became war was it was war what is it September 1939 <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't really remember yeah. but I think it was September 1939 and then we moved up north. Yes, that's right. I was born in 1929. In 1930, we moved to Kenton. And in 1940, we moved up to Bramhall near Stockport. And I went to school in Stockport. I remember well acting at school, in Stockport School. And we did three major productions um, one was Hamlet, one was Macbeth, and one was Caesar and Cleopatra by Shaw. And we did those as annual school plays right up to the hilt with wonderful sets. And it was a, it was a glorious school, actually, it was Stockport School then. I'm, I'm sure it is now. And uh, in fact, I've, I filled in a form for somebody to do with Stockport School earlier today. And they're, they're still adventuring after money um, in order to keep the school going and be really adventurous there. It was a glorious school and I enjoyed being in those plays and we also did concerts and I used to do party pieces. Um, I can't remember what party pieces I did but I know that it was school which made me want to be an actor. And after, after school, I went to RADA. So I was very, very keen. I, went to, I left school in 1946. That's right. I left school in 1946 and went to RADA until 1948. Um, when you say, if, if you were to ask me who was in my class with me, I think there was only one who eventually became quite famous and that was Robert Shaw. And he and I regarded ourselves as the best meat in, in our class at, at RADA. And he was, he was remarkably good, he was much better than I was. And um, a, a delightful person and I, we shared a flat in Regent's Park Road for quite a long time and that was all right, a bit difficult, he was a bit kind of showy offy and a bit a bit tough for me as an ideal kind of person to share a flat with but it was it was it was good it was good i had a, i had a very nice student life um then i then after that i had to do compulsory I, it, it surprised me when i thought of this the other day i had to do compulsory national service we had to join the army or whatever for a year and a half and I did that and then I went back to Folkestone Rep, uh, the Lees Pavilion Theatre in Folkestone run by a man called Arthur Bruff very well and that was a wonderful beginning. Then I went to one other major rep um, for about two years I think it was in Sheffield, the Sheffield not, not the Sheffield Crucible, I can't remember the name of it, the Sheffield Playhouse and I was there with very distinguished fellow actors um, for about three years, and then I was then I was moved into London, and I did um, I did London work, I did London theatre work, and London television work, and all that. You've got um, <coughs> a very impressive filmography, um, quite extensive. I'll I'll throw a couple of these at you, I don't expect you to remember details, but you worked alongside James Mason and George Sanders in uh, A Touch of Larceny. Yes, I did. I was in more than one film with James Mason, I think. Yeah, with uh, 
Tiara Tahiti. Tiara Tahiti. That was James Mason. Yeah. Yes. And John Mills as well. What was he in it? <laughs> yes. I, 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 my memory is very vague of yeah, these long time ago <coughs> things. I'll, I'll throw some of these at you because they're, some of them are Doctor Who related. Um, no Love for Johnny, 1961. Yeah. Peter Finch, Stanley Holloway, Mary Peach and Peter Salis were in that with you. Were they? Um, <laughs> Deborah Watling's father, Jack Watling. Jack Watling. You appeared with him in the Power Game. In the Power Game, I did. Yes, yes. Patrick Weimark was in the Power Game, wasn't he? Is he? He's not down there. I'm not sure. No, right. Um, there was a a film called You Must Be Joking in 1965, which had a lot of uh, comedians of the day featured in it. One of which was John Pertwee. Do you remember working with John Pertwee? Not at all. I don't remember a film called You Must Be Joking. <laughs> okay. Some of these aren't 100% accurate, so we'll have to... I see. Yes, I don't know. Um, I've got you down with Clint Eastwood and Richard Burton in yes. Where Eagles Dare. Where Eagles Dare. Yes, I think probably that was... That was the most famous film I was ever in. I think so. I think I had... I was in it for about six months and it was my f first experience of film money because I was paid my 200 or whatever it was pounds a week for six months and I hardly spoke at all I had I had nothing of a part so I've no, I've no memory of it um, in 1972 there was a film called The Millionaires. No, I don't remember Paul that. Adams, um, with who? Dawn Adams and a very young Tom Baker. I have no recollection of that at all. Okay. Um, you held a lead role in uh, quite a few films, uh, Telford's Change, The Price and Late Starter. Yes, none of those were films, I think they were television series. Okay. Um, and the, 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 the most famous of them, the one which gets quoted more back to me nowadays, after all those years, was Telford's Change. It was a remarkable series to be in. Oh, it, yes, it was my idea, I think, to do a series, a television series, about a bank manager. And uh, it was kind of a new idea then. Everybody thought it would be rather dry, but it actually it was very entertaining to do. And Hannah Gordon was in it, and she was my wife in it, and it was a delight. Um, Wendy Gifford appeared with you in the Ice Warriors, mm. and um, I've also got you alongside her in Champion, 1984, with John Hurt. Have you? <laughs> yes, no, what, one of I can remember Wendy Gifford particularly well. Of course, I've seen photographs of this Doctor Who. Yes. Uh, but the only ones I remember really, I can remember photographs of Wendy Gifford and also of myself as leader Clent. And the fact that I should be a leader of this gang uh, seems very strange to me now. Um, Clint was cast as uh, having a limp and walking with a, a stick. Do yes. you remember anything about that? Yes, I do. I've got the stick upstairs. And it's a kind of... Uh, it's a, a, a transparent perspex, yes, handle. A round handle like that. And I've still got it. Well, yes. If you 